What is up, everybody, and welcome to Media's Worst Moments. Here we don't discuss the average bad, but we dive in deep and discuss when media is at its dullest. Today's episode, Ratatouille. Okay, let's talk about Video Brinquino. Video Brinquino is a, is a Brazilian animation studio created in 1994 by Fernando Franchelli and Ale Mikado, I believe. Made to make Brazilian animations with close resemblance to, at the time, Disney, would, and later on it would do Pixar and DreamWorks films also. From 1996 to 2003, they released small home video releases of different shows, uh, such as Sonic's, Sonic X and Little Lulo, and these were not shows that they made on their own. These are shows made by other people that they took and decided to just release on their own. They also did Super Mario Bros. 3, the show. So, uh, then in 2003, they decided to make a film called United Submarine, which was a ripoff of the Pixar film Finding Nemo, which came out in the same year. Uh, the reason it's a ripoff, they're both about, they both have clownfish and, as the main characters, and it's about a father-son relationship. And the cover kind of looks basically the exact same. This technique is used to trick people into buying this film instead of the Disney film, or the Pixar film, uh, Finding Nemo. So, yeah, that's what happened in 2003. And so then they decided to go on and make their own films from now on. So they made the films, and here they are as follows. The Little Cars uh, in the Great Race, which was a ripoff of Cars, which somehow got four more sequels within the next two years. That wasn't as much of a ripoff. It was supposed to be a ripoff of Cars, but it wasn't as bad as most of the other ones. Uh, Ratatouille, which is what we're talking about today, which is a ripoff of Ratatouille. Little B, which is a ripoff of the B movie made by DreamWorks. The Little Panda Fighter, which was a ripoff of Kung Fu Panda, made also made by DreamWorks. Uh, Tiny Robots, which was a ripoff of both Robots by Blue Sky Studios and Wall-E by Pixar. Little Princess School, which rips off the entire Disney franchise itself. Gladiformers 1 and 2, which rips off the Transformers series. Little and Big Monsters, which trips off Monsters vs. Aliens. Uh, What's Up, Balloon to the Rescue, which was a ripoff of Up. The Frog Prince, which is a ripoff of The Princess and the Frog. And they ran out of names for ripoffs because the last film was called Alice in Wonderland. It's a ripoff of Cinderella. No, I'm kidding. It's Alice in Wonderland. But still, you see in the... All of the covers look similar to the covers of the original Disney films. You might have one or two, like, differences with some of the videos. Like, I don't think Little Cars and the Great Race was as big of a ripoff. It's, it's probably less than, most of, than, like, all the others. But all the others basically are the exact same cover with a couple differences in between. So, yeah. That's Video Brinquino. They're a ripoff company. They uh, do films like The Asylum. And that's basically the whole reason for existing. It's gone through three different names, and right now they're in bankruptcy, and I'm kind of glad about that. Anyways, there's still no excuse for this. So, with what little there is, let's talk about the plot of this film. So, Marcel Toing, great name. It's Ratat Toing, his last name's Toing. Brilliant. This is played by Wayne Grayson, which... If you watch any sort of anime, which I do not myself, but his most famous role is from Yu-Gi-Oh! And he played uh, Joey Wheeler from Yu-Gi-Oh! He owns a restaurant, or Marcel does. Uh, he owns a restaurant in uh, Paris, and he needs to get ingredients from kitchens of humans so he can, you know, get ingredients for his restaurant. And because a plot needs to be in place. He uses his friends Carol, who's played by Lisa Ortiz, and Greg, played by Mike Pollock. Yes, this is Mike Pollock, as in the narrator of Pokemon and Dr. Eggman from Sonic. Yeah, uh, he plays a minor role in this. Anyways, they help him get stuff, get ingredients, and run the restaurant. But these four random unnamed mice, who own a separate restaurant, want to know what Marcel's up to, so they try to kill him. Yes, the plot of this kid's film, which I guess you can call it a kid's film, it's really, it's not even a kid's film, it's not for anybody. This film's not for anyone, except maybe 
No, not even. It, it's for nobody. But this kid's film has the villains trying to kill the main character. And so, out of the, there's two male mice and two female mice. And the two male mice get killed once, yes, the two of the villains die. Or at least we, that's what we're led to believe, because the cat has a tail in his mouth, and uh, it shows the women, like, screaming. So, yeah. Anyways, the female mice, and it's not really said what happens to them, but whatever. We're just led to believe that they died. And the other two go on to do their restaurant, and then it goes out of business eventually. And uh, but Rata Toying, the company or the shop, the restaurant, is still going. It's still the best mice restaurant in town. And this is in Paris. Yes, it's a short plot. The film's only 44 minutes long. But I mean, technically, it's still a movie because a movie only has to be 40 minutes. And as long as it's on a DVD, and it's not just some random YouTube clip that you find that's 40 minutes long, it's a film. So. Yeah, this film might be only 44 minutes, but it feels like three hours. It is painfully bad paced. Why doesn't this work? Well, gee, I wonder why. Ratatouille doesn't work on any aspect that it's given, or that it could work on. Instead of us trying to get to know the characters in the first few minutes of the film, like a good exposition, like a good exposition would do, it spends the first Man, and hear me out here. 10 to 15 minutes of the film talking about how great the restaurant is. It has a 44 minute runtime, and it's using 10 to 15, that's like a fourth of the runtime here, to talk about how great the restaurant is. Why? What's the point? Second, this is the worst, the second worst animation I've ever seen. And this is worse than Food Fight. Now, the only other thing that's worse than this is one of Video Brinquino's other films, uh, The Little Panda Fighter. It's got worse animation, but I mean, it actually has a story. But that'll be another day. This is the second worst animation I've ever seen. Uh, the Cat is the ugliest thing in animation. Yes, you remember the the villain from Food Fight, as in the guy in the robot suit walking around? Yeah, the cat is uglier than that. I mean, it, it looks terrible. It's also like stilted animation, where you'll just have characters standing, and when you're looking in the background of the film... It's just like people are just standing still. There's no movement in the background, so it's unrealistic. And I, I know it's animation, but it can still be somewhat realistic. There's also this one random moment, and this is the cringiest thing I have ever seen. I, I am not exaggerating on this. There's a scene where the four villains of the film just start... First, they start to dance for a minute, and then they begin to, like, go around in a circle like they're on some roller coaster that goes like this, and they begin to moan. Not for one minute, not for one scene, not for just a little bit, for about five whole minutes. I believe I timed it, and I believe it was about four minutes and fifty-something seconds, close enough to five minutes. And that is the worst five minutes that I've ever seen it's the worst five minutes of my life and i'm sad to say that i watched it twice i i, I just had to I, I couldn't believe what i just saw i mean maybe my video froze on like maybe it happened a couple times nope i play it back it's the exact same thing i, I can't believe it how why was that put in the film? I mean, they had no reason to start dancing, for one. I thought that was weird. But then they just begin to moan. What? What's the point? There's no excuse for that. They, they, they don't even give you, like, a sign or anything. They just do it. Anyways, back to why this film doesn't work. 
It's a ripoff of Ratatouille, obviously. It, they're both about uh, cooking mice, or mice that like to cook, and the cover looks basically the exact same. Also, uh, Marcel looks basically exactly like Remy from Ratatouille. Um, and, oh, also on the DVD, which I do not have, but I, one of my friends has it, it says inspired, which should be in big quotation marks, inspired by the upcoming Pixar film Ratatouille, which at the time it would have been upcoming. So, yeah. Least favorite moments. Well, the moaning scene, of course. That's my least favorite moment in anything that I've ever seen. Ever. I don't care what. Nothing can, can be worse than that. Nothing at all. Not even a Megan Trainor song. Mm -mm. Also, the cat scene where he's just – literally, there's a cat scene. The cat is about to pounce on Marcel and friends, and he literally sits here for about, I don't know, 20 seconds of this 44-minute runtime just like this. And he just sits there. He's just stilted. Just – okay, when do I get my line to pounce? You got another 15 seconds. And it's terrible. Uh, the, I hate the movie in general, of course. And um, I compare this a lot to The Lion and the King. No, not The Lion King by Disney. The Lion and the King, which was a short film, I guess would be the correct word to use for this. About – and it's a complete ripoff of The Lion King, obviously. Um, and this would have been my first one because that's probably the worst thing I've ever seen. Uh, but it isn't 40 minutes, it's not considered a film, and I don't really know what to call it because I, I can't find any information on this film, this sh short film, this parody, this video, this whatever the hell this is. So I'm probably never going to get to it. I might just call it a YouTube video because that's the, the only thing I can find out about it is the YouTube video, the comment section, and one video that Electric Dragon 505 made. So, yeah, I mean, this is the second worst thing I've ever seen. Do I have any likes about this film? Yeah, I have one like about this film. Actually, make that two. One, nobody likes this film, and that's why I like it. Second, Video Brinquino is in bankruptcy. Yeah, I mean, I, I like that they're in bankruptcy because they should not be traveling around here doing ripoffs of other films. It doesn't go just for Video Brinquino. I know other studios do this. We'll be coming back to Video Brinquino. We'll probably be doing other ones. Honestly, I have no clue what's next for this series, but if you stay this long, thanks for watching. Uh, I love doing these series. They're fun to research. They're fun to like type up the scripts for. It's just fun in general sorry about that it's just fun in general to do uh i love making youtube videos and i don't really want to stop uh so you're gonna get a pixels review friday and then i don't know about next week and i'm not even gonna like do this what is coming next thing because i'll always say it and then guess what I'm not able to do it that day, and it's either at least two days later or next week. Like, Pixels was supposed to come out last week, but no, I wasn't able to do it. But you will get it this Friday, I know that because I'm about to record it right now. Um, and after that, you're more than likely going to be getting a media's best moments next week. I'm not going to say what on, but it's my new favorite show, and it's what I think is the best show of all time. You also, I'm going to try and get two more reviews out next week. I'm sorry I wasn't able to do that this week. I've been very busy with not only school but other things. And so, yeah. Uh, so if you stay this long, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.